Hey everyone, so today on July 18th it was announced that Ruth Bader Ginsburg has cancer again for her fifth time and a lot stands out in this connecting quite a bit so I'll just get started. So it says here that she's not going to retire after this diagnose and all this and basically they're just announcing that she has cancer again and like I said it's her fifth time so what a story right? <laughs> But just to start, it says that she actually announced this yesterday on Friday the 17th, but the news and headlines came out about it today on the 18th. And yesterday they actually had date numerology of 44. When you take 7 plus 17 plus 20, that equals 44. Cancer equals 44. And her birthday, I don't even have it up here. Her birthday is on March 15th. So the news from her birthday, her previous birthday, it's four months and four days, a span of four months and four days, again like 44 in Cancer. And without the span, it's 125 days after her birthday. And what's interesting about that is because her first real name is actually Joan, not Ruth. And I can show you right here, born Joan Ruth Bader. Joan equals 691. 691 is the 125th prime number. And again, it's 125 days after her birthday. She's been a jurist now for 27 years, since 1993. When you write out 27 in word form, that equals 125. So I find like that to be an interesting connection. And here again, cancer equals 44 and 118. Justice Ruth Ginsburg, 118, and I just threw in that death is also 118 in the Jewish cipher. Um, who knows, that could be what leads to her death, right? And then today's date, obviously we have, you can write it out like 18 slash 7, like on 187. And what I didn't point out is this time it said that the cancer is in her liver. And when you write out liver cancer, that equals 187, like Society of Jesus in Washington, D.C., where the Supreme Court is, 187. So what a perfect day for this news to come about liver cancer. And here I'm just showing how they keep emphasizing recurrence in all the different headlines that they have. Recurrence and liver cancer both equal 110 and 56, and her first or her full name, Joan Ruth Bader, equals 56. Even just Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg equals 110, just like liver cancer and recurrence. And 110 is a big president number. President equals 110. So I had to go back and look at Bill Clinton because it's actually him in 1993 that nominated Ruth Bader to become on the Supreme Court. And he has quite a connection. So his birthday is on August 19th. Today to his upcoming birthday is a span of 33 days away. And you know, 33 being a big number. Clinton equals 33 and Clinton also equals 87. And Ruth is currently 87 years old. And if you were to take today to the date, anniversary date of when she first went in office, she assumed office August 10th, 1993. So today to her anniversary date of this year, it's three weeks and three days like Clinton and how it's 33 days from his birthday today. So I found that pretty interesting. And then, you know, federal, order, secrecy, and masonry, all 33. And then another thing that kind of stood out, um, the date that he, Clinton took office, or left office actually, January 20th, 2001, all the way to today is um, 1,017 weeks, kind of dropping the zero, it kind of looks like 117, like Supreme Court Justice 117. And then also, I just wanted to tie how Bill Clinton's actual name, William Jefferson Blythe III, equals 132, just like how cancer equals 132 in the Jewish cipher, like United States of America, 132. 
And then today's date, July 18th, is the day that leaves 166 days left in the year. William Clinton, 166, like Secret Society, 166. And where I'm getting with Secret Society is Ruth Bader and Bill Clinton kind of have an interesting connection from the date that she assumed office after her birthday that year in 1993 to the date that she was in office. It was 149 days later. And 149 you get when you run Skull and Bones, that equals 149. And also, after the date that Bill Clinton took office as a president, January 20th, 1993, to the day that he put Ruth Bader in office, August 10th, 1993, it was 202 days after he took office as president, and another Skull and Bones number, 202. And so I just found that all to be interesting. And because we know Washington, D.C., their area code is 202. I mean, that should just make you think on that, right? And then also the day that she, or sorry, her birthday that year of 93 to the day that she went to the Supreme Court, that was also 21 weeks and two days, kind of like 212. And William Clinton equals 212. And just to show the 149 connection with what they're talking about today with her, cancer returned equals 149, like skull and bones. And then even justice of U.S. Supreme Court, like her title, that equals 322, like skull and bones, you know, the number that they identify by. And one other thing I found interesting that ties it together is Whenever you look at Skull and Bones, like they have different nicknames here. Well, there's one that's called Order 322. And if you just write all that out in word form, Order 322 equals 232 and 200. And what's interesting with that is today, July 18th, is the 200th day of the year. And then Bill Clinton's birthday is on August 19th, which this year will be the 232nd day of the year. So just showing how a little bit of the Skull and Bones rituals is going on with this relationship between them, it's pretty interesting. And then of course, she's been in office for 27 years, and 27, ritual equals 27. And Bill Clinton, if you're not aware, went to Yale University, Yale Law School even, so, that's where, you know, Skull and Bones is located, at Yale Skull and Bones in New Haven, Connecticut. And then lastly, I have, just to show that she's had cancer four times before, so this time it's her fifth. And when you write out five, five equals 42, like how Bill Clinton was the 42nd president. And five also equals 24, which I think I just included because, where did I have it? Today to her um, anniversary date of when she assumed office as, you know, in the Supreme Court, it's 24 days away from today, and here she has an announcement of her fifth um, time having cancer. Oh, and here's today's date. I didn't show you that today is the 200th day of the year. Again, just like um, Order 322. And... Yeah, so that's all I had. So I feel like there's just a major connection between Bill Clinton and why this day was chosen because um, it is, it's fitting too perfectly to be a coincidence. And But I'm sure there's more to gather later, but that's all I had for now. And well, and even how they're talking about she's not retiring, like how they even bring that up, like sound like she's dead yet, you know, like, why would, you know, it's just interesting how they talk about that, but retire also equals 42, like, again, the 42nd president, Clinton, and it equals 87, like how she's currently 87 years old, and then another nickname for the skull and bones is the order, the order equals 42, and again, we know, like, Freemasonry, or Free Freemason, equals 42. Just interesting how, you know, the 42nd president went to Yale and has all these 42 connections. 
in oh and then one other thing I did notice her birthday being on March 15th well March 15th is typically the 74th day of the year which is just perfect too because you know her position and all that and all the 74s that we know but even just jury equals 74 so but yeah I will just leave it there see ya